Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. In this video, I'm gonna, I got a HP Pavilion 15.6 inch X360 convertible laptop. Uh, I'm gonna take out the hard drive. I've confirmed that it's bad inside and we're gonna replace that with a brand new SSD, two and a half inch SSD drive from Crucial. So we're gonna start by opening it up. It's pretty simple on this one, really. I've already took out the screw, so I don't have to bore you with that. In this model, there's three along the front here. Small little screws, use a hand Phillips screwdriver. And then in the back, you have to lift up these little corner pads on the corner here and right here. You've got to lift these up. There's a screw under there. Now those two screws in the back are a little bit heftier and bigger than the ones in the front and in the center here. There's also one along the back. You have to take off a little screw, a little stick on screw cover right there to get the screw out. It's pretty easy. So I've already lifted these up. Basically, they just come up just like that. Then you take out the screw, but you got to make sure that the bigger screws go in these corners here, they're right by the hinge. So to open this up, we're going to remove the bottom pan. You just have to get your tool in there, basically. Or if you can, in my case, I always use, use my, my little fingernail to get it started. Kind of pop it up along the edge right here. I got it broke loose, but this pan comes off fairly simple. You see that how it pops right up. Just kind of usually if you just jiggle it carefully, it it comes right off. Now when you put this back on along the back, very back edge here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see there's like these little tabs. There's two of them in the corners. They have to slide back under here, so you have to get the back in first and then snap it back in along the sides and the front. So here's our bad mechanical hard drive we're going to take out and put a new 2.5 inch SSD in there. We're just going to take our little tool here and this little cradle just kind of pops up. There's no screws holding that in. Just like that, we're going to we're going to go to HP. They put their tape on there. We're going to unplug it carefully. Just make sure when you're unplugging it, you don't accidentally disconnect the little ribbon cable for the SATA drive from the motherboard here. Just double check that before you put it back together. So we're gonna take the hard drive out of this goofy little cradle they give you here. Just kind of remember how it kind of bends and flexes quite easily, so don't mangle it too bad. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're going to put our new SSD in there. Oops. And get those little rubber things back in the side there, along there's one, you know, where the screws would go. Pretty simple. I get all this stuff to line up right. It's kind of annoying. You know, being a convertible, I don't know why they don't just put SSDs in, in them by default. They're so much more durable. But I'm going to see if I can save the customer's data off this hard drive. I think I can. We're going to do a clean, fresh install of Windows 10 1903 edition. So now we're just going to hook it back up carefully. This isn't a real hard job. Place it back in place. It only goes really one way. It's just kind of a compression fit. And this one comes from the factory, the good old Intel Optane memory. Be better off to put like an M2 drive in there. Um, but in this case, we're going with the two and a half inch SSD. Now we're just gonna put this bottom pan back on and like I said you gotta kinda get it 
started in the back here first. Those little tabs. Got to make sure they're. Got to make sure they're underneath the, the bottom edge and not not sticking out right here. Otherwise, you'll be fighting it. But I got a Windows 10 USB flash drive I made with the, in the Windows Media Creation tool. We're going to do a clean install. We're going to put our screws back in. And remember the, the two bigger screws they have here go in these back corners for the extra support for the hinges. So that was putting a new SSD in the HP X360 convertible. Do a clean install and we'll be all set. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and see you next time.